Hello, good afternoon to everyone. This is Dr. Madhavi from Andhra Pradesh and I am here for two days at ICT Academy and C3 course and today my topic is just briefing the equipment which is needed for ovum pickup. The first foremost thing everyone will have, every gynecologist will have the transvaginal probe uh, and the needle guide here it is not there and the needle guide will fix it here and will have one mark here and then as my colleague already explained about this OPU needle 17 gas and the OPU the main thing is the suction without suction there is no OPU and this is suction machine and with one pedal is there so uh, coming to this suction machine here is the monitor S different companies have some range uh, about 110 to 130 set pressure and when we press it here it has already zero no when we when we are doing it will increase and the connections of the tubings of this is the more important tubing which it will goes to that uh, uh, hub one lever lock is there and this goes to the tube and the other side of the tube it is trap bottle hmm? the thing is uh, here in the pedal there are two pedals one is the normally we use this when we press it here it will goes from 0 to minus 110 uh, what is this uh, boost pedal if anything got struck by blood or something mucus like thing we will boost it it will go around 4 400 millimeters of mercury then the last one is the most important thing is this is the heating blocks so this is uh, I will take it out. This is the one and it has 6 here, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 here, not the 8 here, 16. So these are the main test tubes which are 14 ml test tube. Here the graduations are there and this bung will go and attach like this and we will keep it like this. Thank you. And the procedure will be explained by my colleague Dr. Pratyusha. Hi, I am Dr. Jasi Pratyusha. I am travelling from Andhra Pradesh, Vijaywada. So now I'm going to tell you the procedure for the ovum pickup. Ensure always that the patient has empty bladder. So ask her to empty her bladder 15 minutes before the procedure. The patient will be in the lithotomy position and will be under the general anesthesia or MAC anesthesia. Now coming to the pickup, the timing of the pickup usually we plan from the 32 to 36 hours. And for the pickup, we mainly required the, an ultrasound machine and a probe. This probe is a vaginal probe and covered with the probe cover. And we place the uh, probe gel inside the vaginal cover itself. And after the probe, we'll attach to the guide, needle guide. And from the needle guide, ensure that this tip of the OPU needle doesn't touch the entering of the night. Otherwise, this will become blunt. So, Keep the stillet anteriorly, gently insert without touching anywhere and first insert the transducer probe. As we all know that the vaginal length is anteriorly it is about 9 cm and posterior vaginal length is 11 cm. As we are entering the vagina, we can firmly press the vagina and enter up to 13 cm of range with the probe. Why we are doing this? So that there is no tissue lying between the ovary and the vagina and the probe. So any omentum or any bowel or any bladder, they just slips off and it will give a correct access to the ovary. So after focusing 75% of the ovary, then we start aspirating. Entering the follicle with the needle will be always after tenting of the follicle. So we have to remember three M's here. The first M is enter in the middle of the ovary. So the ovary volume will be there, the middle volume you have to enter and in the middle follicle, whichever is bigger, enter in the middle follicle and always ensure that the, this OPU needle is in the middle of the follicle while aspirating. So by this what happens, the other follicles just come nearer to our needle and it is easier to perform the aspiration. If you want to change to another site, don't change the transducer, it will lead to shearing of the ovarian tissue. So a gentle direction change in the needle will help to the ovary. So after this, complete the both the sites. 
when you have done after the both sides pickup is done gently see if there is any collection in the pod if required you can even use a doppler color study to rule out any blood vessels or ovarian vessels or cervical vessels also after that remove the transfuser see the vagina check for the vagina any there is any bleeders or any active bleed is there sometimes you may require stitching suturing also so if nothing is there you can just gently remove you can uh, check for the vitals of the patient and shift her to the observation room thank you